An excellent afternoon, partners. Uh, this is Diamond Consultant, Dr. Harry Benjamin, uh, giving you a quick shout out uh, from Lagos, Nigeria. I'm actually here at the Organa office, um, actually here, actually sitting down to make some calls uh, as we go into tomorrow's event and, and also into the weekend and you know as we work to close out the year. I listened to a powerful millionaire mentorship call by Mr. Holton Boggs this morning. It was really amazing. And um, I'm very uh, happy to hear him, you know, play the song at the beginning, Freedom. <laughs> you know, uh, man, the first time I heard him play that song was at an international convention. And I've locked on to it ever since, man. It's such a powerful tune. And, you know, in the line of us, um, you know, discussing and talking about that, we already obviously did our goal setting. And he mentioned that at the beginning that we should have already uh, have been gearing up for 2018 so that we don't, you know, 2018 doesn't catch us uh, unprepared. And I know most of us have already started writing down our goals. I certainly have. And I've outlined um, for 2018 um, the activities month over month, right through from January to December, um, you know, framing out the year for us as an organization. And of course, I'm seeking to encourage individuals to frame out their, their years as well. Uh, you know, it's important that we all get into sync, you know, or into rhythm, as Mr. Boggs has said. And as we go into the end of the year, uh, one of the things that we uh, should be seeking to do is to create momentum. You know, um, those who, there are two types of mentalities that we're gonna end up with in this season. Uh, one is a consumer mentality, that's, that's one. The second mentality is that of the shop right mentality or the business person's mentality. Which mentality are you going to end the year with? Are you going to end the year with you know, a consumer mentality? You know, meaning that you're the one out doing shopping and buying stuff. Or are you going to end the year uh, with the business person's mentality? So you're ending the year as someone who is open for business. Uh, my mentor, Mr. Edwin Haynes, he always says, that we should have the Walmart mentality. What does that mean? It means that we're open for business. Walmart is open 24 hours per day. Now Amazon is now the new Walmart. They're open 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. That business never takes a minute off. They're always open. So they have now become the largest retailer in the world. So then, if you want to have a big business, this is for those who want to become top earners in our company. You know, those who are comfortable, you know, earning a small amount of money on a monthly basis, fine, you know, keep doing it. You know, we're, we're not against that. You know, that's where you are, that's fine. But there are those of us who want to earn a million dollars a year. You know, those of us who want to earn a hundred million naira, 50 million naira, 30 million naira in a year, then you are going to be among the number that I'm talking to. Uh, you know, you want to earn over that one million naira per month and you want 2018 to be one of your best years ever, if not the best year you have ever had, then you have to go into that year with momentum and not begin the year in January. So what we should do, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is to end the year with momentum so you begin the year with momentum. If we go to sleep over the holidays, if we go into that consumer mindset, you know, if you go into slowing down the way some people are starting to slow down as they go into the holidays then you will develop a consumer mindset and then you will be coming into January trying to get things going you know um, as opposed to someone who ends the year with momentum mentally you're ending with momentum so you're going into January strong and this is what's happening in January there will be more people ready to get started than any other time in the year right and what we should be doing is a couple of things. One, 99% of people are out shopping between now and the end of December. When you go into ShopRite right now, as you progressively go into ShopRite, as an example, every day you go in there, you notice that there's more and more and more crowd because more people are in that shopping mood. So as you're out, you'll find it much easier for you to meet prospects, brand new prospects every day. Some of the best people that I've met to build this business, I met them during the holiday season, right? That's when most people are all doing some form of shopping or the other. Uh, so this time of the year, the business person has their shop open. Now we're looking for two things. You're looking for customers and partners. So 
if you're not meeting new people, then you're not creating the opportunity for new partnerships. So for us to have momentum, you have to have that mental state of mind or the habit of meeting brand new people every day. Now, I remember when we went through that process, you know, when, when I figured it out, because there was a stage in the business where I figured out that the problem was that I wasn't adding new people to my network. I was only working with the people who were already in the team. And then there was attrition that was setting in and things were slowing down. So when I figured it out, I started going out meeting people every day. First, it was difficult meeting one and two, you know, it was, it, was, it was challenging. But as I kept at it, I, I was even able to go up to meeting over 10 people every day on average. And then as we started doing it and I started to teach others how to do it, uh, we have team members who have exceeded my 10 people per day. Um, I saw last year, December, where um, you know, one of our team members, Mrs. Monica Nyoka, she, she met 45 people in one day. One day, brand new people, shook 45 hands in one day. So, you know, when you look at that as an example, you know, even if we're consistently meeting two or three per day, you know, yesterday I met five people. Today, you know, I'm, I met more people, and I'll meet more people before the day is out. Now, what that does is keep your pipeline full. Whenever your pipeline is full, you, it takes the pressure off you. Because if your pipeline is not full, what happens is that you keep going back to the same people over and over and over again. But when you have a full pipeline of prospects, what it does, it eases the pressure, right? You know, if you call the ones you met two weeks ago, right, and you meet more today, then you're not running out. But if you met a bunch of people last month and you have called them, and then you're going back through those people or you're going back to people that you met already, you knew them before, and you keep talking back to the same people over and over again, they get tired of hearing from you. And eventually they shut down or stop taking your calls. So what we have to do, ladies and gentlemen, is to always be meeting brand new people. So every day, you know, if you look in my, this is, I'm going through last year, um, two years ago. These are contacts two years ago, people I met two years ago, right? And I'm, I'm calling them back. I'd call them before. Some of them I met, some of them I showed a plan to, but some of them didn't get started then. But what is happening is that those people who I saw then, they're now so fired up and excited about getting involved because they're hearing about all these new stories. So as they're hearing about these stories, they're, they're getting really excited. And I'm very fired up about where we're going and what we have going on right now. Uh, when we look at the transition that we've been able to come through, you know, uh, the old products that were expiring in October, that period is behind us. We now have brand new products in the warehouse. Now, as this has happened, we have gone through a transition period. There are some people who mentally, they are not strong enough to deal with the changes that occurred because the prices to them went up. The prices didn't go up. The prices just are what they are. The products are US dollar products. They're not Naira products. So, you know, it's like a Mercedes Benz in the United States is the same price as, as a Mercedes Benz in Nigeria. There's no Nigerian version of the Mercedes Benz. We have the Mercedes Benz or the Rolls Royce of the industry of health and wellness, coffee, tea, chocolate products. And you have to remember that. So therefore, when you're selling the products, it's the value that you're adding to it that determines whether people buy it or not. People with low self-esteem, they will not be able to sell the products because people buy your self-esteem, not the products. People buy you before they buy what you're selling. So if your self-esteem is low, what happens is that you're going to have a difficult time selling a product. You know, uh, the price, uh, you know, that, that, what, that, that's low self-esteem. When you have a high self-esteem, you're confident. You know what you have. One, you know that you are, you, you are the best thing that, that, that they could have come across. Right? You know that you have the best deal on the planet, the best product, the best opportunity. And in sharing that with them now, you, you know, you're coming to them with a standpoint of confidence, not arrogance, but confidence. Knowing that we have Ganoderma, knowing that we have one of the best products in the world, if not the best in the world. And knowing that it's helping people's health challenges. We have so many stories and testimonies of that. So, so engaging more and more people will give you more and more customers. In addition to this, what it will also do is provide you with the opportunity to have brand new distributors in your business. Here's the nice part. Those people who we recruit right now, like the gentleman who's transferring for his gold pack today, paying for more products and, you know, and so forth, those individuals, they don't know about 128,000 Naira gold packs. They have no memory of it. All they know is 244,000 Naira for a gold pack. All they know is 111,000 Naira for a silver pack. 
they don't know anything else. So those new individuals that we bring in right now, they don't have that memory to weigh them down. So if you bring a brand new set of people into the business right now, you're gonna find that you will recreate the momentum that you had coming into that period. And some of us already have the skills of going out and meeting people. Some of us have books like I do with contacts and prospects that you had met a year, two years ago. Those individuals are very ripe for following up right now. But when you call someone to follow up, your tone and your, the way you speak to them is very important. One, you have to speak to them confidently, right? You have to say, hey man, we have the best thing that, that's happening right now. Uh, you know, or then we ask you, so how is that business? How is Organa doing? Man, it's growing and expanding rapidly. Business is great. You know, this year we've been to Abuja, Port Harcourt, Kano. You know, we now have regular meetings happening in Abuja. We have regular meetings happening in Port Harcourt. That wasn't happening when I met you. We have regular meetings happening now. Um, business is so great that we have had to actually start having our, our meetings now at the Organa facility. We have taken over half of the water parks building in Acacia. All right, so you're inviting them to come tomorrow. Man, you know, if you're coming tomorrow, you have to dress business. All right, you have to dress very well. It's a, it's a very successful group of people that you're going to get to meet with. You know, so come looking sharp. You know, bring your pen, bring your paper so you could sit down and get some notes and be on time because we have a very limited space. Okay? So I'll see you tomorrow at 11. Or you're inviting them to, don't, you know, don't say the old water parks building. You know, um, you have to add to it. We have to do a little extra work right now to say, well, look, you know, if, they, if you're using water parks as a, as a landmark, yeah, you say no water parks. But mentally, they may think, okay, I don't have to dress well because of what water parks is known for. So you have to say to them, look, you need to dress well. Because if you tell them to meet you at the Protea, they already know if they're not dressed well, the guard will turn them back at the gate. So they come dressed well. But at water parks, there's not that culture. So we have to establish the culture. As I mentioned before, we'll be turning people back who are not dressed properly so that we can maintain a high standard in our business. So you have to invite them for them to come looking well, come expectant, and come and be a part of this massive success that we've been working on and continue to develop. So I'm encouraging each and every one of us, one, to go out, be meeting new people during the season. Be doing one-on-one -on -one presentations, be doing presentations. Some people tell you, oh, it's the holidays, that's fine. Move on to the one who says, yes, I want to hear what you have. So you keep meeting people, keep doing presentations. I remember last Christmas, I was actually meeting people on Christmas Day. The one before that, I was out on Christmas Day as well. I want massive success. Freedom, financial freedom and independence is my goal. And I will not stop until I have it. I hope that's your goal as well. When you want it, you have to pay the price for it. You know, I, earlier on, I was considering um, actually taking some time off this holiday over the holiday season, you know, but I've decided against that. The momentum and recreating and creating momentum into 2018 is paramount. Right now we're on the cusp of completing that project 50,000 a year. And I know that this coming year is the year that we'll do it. I know it beyond a shadow of a doubt. And I'm helping everyone who is ready to be a part of that big success to be prepared. We have to be out meeting new people. We have to be out making connections. We have to be out doing presentations. We cannot get into the consumer mode. We have to have the ShopRite or the Walmart mentality. Our business needs to be open. Our business needs to be at parties connecting to introduce people to our opportunity and our product. Yes, have a good time, have fun, eat food, have a great Christmas, have a great New Year's. But don't forget to keep the shop door open. Successful people work during the time that consumers spend the most money. Not participate in the spending only. You know, take part in having a great time over the holidays, but keep your shop open. Be out meeting new people. It's easy to meet 10 people per day in, in during this type of holiday season, if, if, if you want to take it that high. You know, um, I recommend that you should be at two, three, four, five. Less than two a day, you're not going to have the mental momentum to be in January, with really moving forward and driving into January with serious momentum. So that come January, you are one of those that have a lot of people to sponsor. Sponsor, aim at sponsoring them week after week. This Christmas here, like we're sponsored, I have a gentleman coming at five o'clock, you know, I have a, a more people coming, and two people coming at five o'clock today for us to sit down and do the planning. And I met them two years ago, showed a plan to them on Saturday here at the, at the, at the Organa office, and now they're coming back for game planning sessions. 
But when I invited them to the Argana office, I told them dress well, look sharp, <laughs> right? So I know that tomorrow is going to be off the charts. We're going to do our training to get into how to build and recreate momentum and, and sustain it. And, uh, and ladies and gentlemen, I'm so fired up and so pumped and so excited about everything that we got going on. Be meeting new people, be doing your presentations throughout, right? Those, that's for those who want to be sustainably earning over a million naira a month going into next year, right? For those who are already at that level, you know that now you're working to go above that. Two million naira, three million naira per month, right? So that you can end the year next year with, a, with a earnings of somewhere in the region of 25, 35, 40 million naira that would have been paid into your family's bank account. Organa will pay. All we have to do is do the work, right? So I'm fired up and excited, guys. And tomorrow is going to be off the charts. You know, um, Saturday is going to be off the charts. Thursday and Lekki is going to be popping. And right throughout December, man, we're going to drive this thing big and strong. And January, February, all the way through December next year is going to be a massive year's results. We're creating seven diamonds. A number of you are going to be on the stage um, receiving your swords and your various awards, man. I can't wait to see that day. And, and the excitement at the international convention next year. All right, God bless each and every one of you. We'll see you at the top. Bye for now.